One word. One word. One word. One word. One hypnotist. One hypnotist. Chris Jones. Chris Jones. One word. How's uh, home ownership? I have a house. Yeah. That's pretty darn cool. Um, so the the wife is pregnant, and so I've been moving things because she's been working and throwing up. So uh, while she's at work and enduring morning sickness, I'm packing. How far is the house from where you live currently? It's mm, 20 minutes. Okay. 25 with bad traffic. Right. Well, it's not horrible. And uh, it's fortunately, it's only like four miles from the airport. Oh, nice. So that'll make my commute a lot easier. So tell me about the pregnancy. Um, you know, I'm just trying to be thoughtful because Stacy can't drink. I'm not drinking. And, uh, you know, every now and then I'm like, wow, I really could have like a nice drink right now and uh, not stress so much or be in my head. But, you know, try to be empathetic. So she can't drink. I'm not drinking until the baby's out. The last time we spoke, you were pretty excited about uh, about about a couple of things. We talked about both of them, actually. We talked about the, you know, the home ownership and about the, uh, about you being a father. And it's kind of weird because I know when we first met, I didn't think you even wanted to be a dad. Uh, when you met me, I definitely didn't want that responsibility. I was like, it's all about me. I'm the focus of everything. And now it's like, I don't want attention anymore. And uh, I'd rather give someone else spotlight and realize the universe is much, much bigger than I am. Which is an insane concept. Like, I'm one person, and there's 7 billion people on the planet. Like, to be self-centered at 34, that's pretty disgusting. Well, you, I mean, you've grown. You've come a long way, you know? You think about it that way. Thanks. Well, I blame Stacy for my growth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's nothing to blame, though. That's, that's pretty awesome to think about it, if you think about it. Life is good. I went to one of those uh, job fairs for myself, uh-huh. and it, I, I got to showcase for 30 minutes. And usually... I could do a show in 30 minutes. Like, that's plenty of time. But I didn't bomb, but I didn't rock. My agent, he calls me, like, a week ahead of time. He's like, so, Chris, just so you know, whenever you get on stage, like, you're talking to the audience, like, you're trying to do stand-up, and it's funny, you're giving me an ulcer, you know? I just want you to get to the part where you hypnotize them, do your skits, and uh, get to the point so they'll like it. And I'm like, yeah, all right, I'll do my best, Chris. And his name is Chris as well. And then I got up there. And I honestly got, I talked for like eight minutes out of my 30. Then I spent three minutes hypnotizing people. And I only got to do one or two skits. And I was like, all right, guys, I'm Chris. I got to go. Bye. I wasn't thrilled with my performance. Like I got off stage and I was like, all right, Stacy was there. My buddy Adam was there. And my videographer was there. I'm like, guys, I'm going to go take a nap because I didn't bomb. It, it wasn't a flop, but I give that performance a C plus. And it was in front of, I don't know. 1,500 people, but, and the real other shitty thing is there were other hypnotists that performed after me, at least two others, and they probably did better than I did, and it's just what it is. Like, I'm the guy who, who had a target on his back. I went the first day, like, opening this job fair, this conference. I didn't compete like I wanted to, but I have a house, a wife, and a baby on the way, so... I can't complain. Hey, what did that teach you? I had all these ideas that I wanted to share with the audience. And Stacy's like, you know, what's your goal? What's your purpose? And she's sweet. She doesn't know what to do. But she's like, just, you have a lot of messages. Just focus on one of them. I was like, no, I want to talk about, you know, inequality in America. And I want to talk about, uh, I had this idea where I say, lady, stand up. If you have pepper spray in your hand, in your keychain, show me your pepper spray. Put it in the sky. Guys. They're afraid of us. We need to be better as men. That's the thing I want to talk about. She's like, yeah, I hear you. And Stacy's like, you could just do that at the school. Like, you don't need to go on your platform, you know, every chance you can. You can wait till you're on campus and do that. I'm like, yeah, but when am I going to have people from all 50 states in a room at once? And she was like, just. So I should have listened to her. I should have focused on entertainment. And then when I got to the school, they're like, hey, guys, uh, I get upset because women have to walk around in the dark with their keys between their fingers and they have a rape whistle and pepper spray. And we drunk guys can just drink as much as we want and stumble into an apartment. Like, do you, do you understand guys? Like how privileged we are? So what did I learn? I, I, here's an analogy I heard. You can drill five holes, five feet deep, or you can drill one hole, 25 feet, but you can't do both. Like, 
make your message firm or make five messages, whatever, three messages, and not as structurally sound. Do you buy into that? Does that make sense? Yeah, actually it does. My, you can, you can, ha can half-ass three or four, or you can do one and, and hit it home. Yeah. I'll tell you the last thing, then I'll, I'll let you go. I think part of that is because I needed someone to talk to. Like, I haven't been to the therapist in a little while. I haven't had sharing time. I've had a lot of me time, but just listening to my headphones is not enough. I didn't do any writing. I didn't do any talking to friends, preventing. All of this was just me moving the last five, six, seven days by myself with the dog. And uh, like Tom Hanks in Castaway, you can't just talk to your dog with inanimate objects. You need to talk to human beings. You got my number, brother. You can always call me. I do. And uh, you talked to me on a great day. Like, you talked to me when I was visiting my mom and my grandma at the cemetery. And uh, I'm not a cemetery guy. I'll hang there for all of 60 seconds, and I'm like, well, you're bugs. I'm leaving. Cemeteries are not my cup of tea. Find entertainer and hypnotist Chris Jones at hypnotistchrisjones.com. The one-word Chris Jones podcast, a podcast for higher production.